This is Roman Abramovich, Russian billionaire and owner of Premier League football club Chelsea. He's handed over control of the club and now has a new goal. He's accepted Ukraine's requests to negotiate with Russia to end the war. Abramovich has remained tight-lipped about his stance, unlike some billionaire businessmen once close to Russian President Vladimir Putin, now openly criticizing his decision to wage war. Oleg Deripaska. He's known for throwing lavish parties at Davos and making a fortune from energy and aluminium. He's been sanctioned by the US since 2018 for his close ties to Putin. On Telegram, he called for peace and negotiations. It's causing deep unease among Russia's elites, uh, those who depend on access to the global financial system. And these people are the sustainers and enablers and supporters of the Putin regime. So on this, as on every other political front uh, since the beginning of this unnecessary war, Putin finds himself worse off, not better off. One of Russia's richest men, Mikhail Friedman, called for an end to the bloodshed in a letter to his London-based private equity firm. And Ukrainian-born businessman Dmitry Firtash is also opposing the war. He'd previously funneled money into Ukraine's campaigns of pro-Russian politicians. The Bloomberg Billionaires Index shows within 24 hours of the start of war, 22 of Russia's richest people saw 39 billion net worth wiped out. And it's not just oligarchs speaking out. Russian businessman Oleg Tinkov is the founder of one of the world's largest online banks, but has no political ties to the Kremlin. He says innocent people are dying in Ukraine and that he's against the war. But opinion is divided on whether this will make an impact. Businessmen who uh, have already uh, spoken quite openly uh, about uh, uh, peace, uh, about the need uh, to somehow, somehow change and end this conflict. Uh, but I don't think that it will have a direct impact on the Russian foreign policy. Most of Russia's political elite has stood firm with the president. But will those who broke rank put pressure on Putin and will others follow? Laura Burden-Manley, Al Jazeera.